Yes, well, we've done a lot of work in this area of the last uh, five to seven years. Uh, we were having independent research um, uh, providers uh, that were doing their own thing. and Now we've formed the South Australian Health and Medical Research Institute. Uh, we, we've uh, built a $200 million facility uh, that's co-located with the new Royal Adelaide Hospital site and a, in a fantastic precinct. Uh, the Me University of Adelaide's medical school will be moving down there. Uh, the University of South Australia is putting research down, down on that site. So it will have a site of around 10,000 people. It will have one voice for research uh, in this state to actually promote, to advocate and to seek funding for in a range of themes that they'll be actually driving from their own expertise. The big thing that we hope to achieve from that and the big thing that research is really all about is that tra translation into clinical practice of contemporary ways and the most modern evidence-based approach to providing health care for our community. And so in addition to trying to increase the research capacity of the state, we're very keen to make sure that translation into clinical practice is, is uh, affected in a very timely way and also is consistently provided across uh, the South Australian uh, Health Service so that we actually move from a 15 to 20 year horizon of research being translated into clinical practice consistently to moving that to a far shorter period and making sure that that is consistently the way we practice from the evidence, the latest evidence that we have in all of our facilities across the state. And we're very excited about uh, SAMRI's role, its commitment to translation to uh, clinical practice from its research endeavours and adding value to the health system uh, and, and again uh, gi uh, giving us uh, lots of reasons why we need to be in partnership with them with funding to solve our problems through their expertise.